needed a snack. I did. I do. <laughs> oh, my God. Did, I'm, I remember yesterday where I was like, do we want these drumsticks for dinner tomorrow or do we want them as lunch uh, before the pod? And you're like, we're going to need something to pad our bellies before the podcast. Right, but I, I ain't talking to my parents. Yeah, you can eat and talk at the same time. Mm-hmm. You're doing it right now. I am. I apologize. This is loud in the microphone. You could have but... gotten macaroni salad, too. Oh, shit. That'd be quieter. Uh, <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, no, I was talking to my parents. It was, um, and it went, I mean, it was like an hour and a half phone call. It was a good phone call. It was good. It was um, good. And, you know, we talked about my sister's wedding that's coming up in July and mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. bringing in Sam to the family. Oh, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, um, you know, uh, just. You know, we just talk about all kinds of things. How many times have you gotten that hat, forgotten that hat is on your head? No, I I constantly remember. I can feel it. Oh, you're acutely aware of it? You want to take it off? No. We did the main show. You can take it off now. It's, it's fun. fine. It's fun. Okay. It's okay. not like the glasses. Oh, yeah, because those were squishing your eyeballs oh. out. They hurt so bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What was crazy, though, is when we bought them, uh, I... So we walk into the grocery store, we see them, I'm like, oh, I hope we get this away from the podcast. Um, and then put it in the basket and forgot about it, not once, but twice. Mm-hmm. Um, like, halfway through, I'm like, oh, yeah, I got these stupid glasses. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go put them back. And you're like, no, you're going to wear them. Um, and then I forgot about them until we got You had the doggy old grave, sir. And, and then we got to the um, checkout. And, okay, you forgot again. Like, and I forgot again until, they, until she did it. And I was like, oh, so I got the bowler, bowler hat. I was talking to you. I got the bowler hat. And so I wear the glasses and then piss off everybody in Ireland by wearing the English hat. <laughs> and she's like, not everybody. Like, because she she's Irish. She was Irish. And I was like, no, nah, you're not really Irish. Whatever. You don't know. I don't know. She, could, she looked like she could be Irish. She's probably Irish. I don't know. Cool. Anyway. Would you anyway. would you do the be one of the four? Oh, to go to Mars? To do the Mars. Or, to, or um, not to go to Mars. To go to fake Mars? Um, no. Hmm. Because it seems pretty pointless. I mean, there's so many things that we have to figure out with space settlement first that that's like, why? What? It's not even a, it's not on a, it's not the experience, it's not an, it's not a, <laughs> You don't get to go to Mars. The variables in the experiment are not, it's still Earth-based at the mm-hmm. end of the day. You're not even, like, in space. There's so much, as soon as you leave the protection of our atmosphere, like, our bodies are truly and utterly fucked. Um yeah. And we don't have the technology to not fuck them. Like, well, okay, this is... <laughs> what? <laughs> we don't have the technology yet for... Because even astronauts, even astronauts on the ISS, like, they have to exercise so much on there to prevent the bone loss, yet, like, they still lose, like, a good chunk of, of bone mass. Right, that doesn't even, like, take into account the radiation you're experiencing. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're constantly getting bombarded with radiation and then in the and and the iss you're in some sort of shielding right. but that shielding is still not complete you know but then when you're you're over in say mars I mean, but, to, but to be fair though um the people on the iss though are still kind of in that well protective they're, they're, earth bubble they're protected by the earth's magnetic field still so they're but not they even still getting get, they still get radiation more radiation there than we uh-huh do. uh-huh it's like what's the they see like we'll see like flashes in their mm-hmm. eyes when they're hit by like a, a cosmic, cosmic ray, ray. Um, and cosmic rays being from stars going big boom, which is insane to think about. A star went big boom and then you see a flash of light. And you're like, oh, it's hit by a supernova. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> yeah, I mean, basically, you are detecting that supernova. You're a human supernova detector in yeah. space. And I said. <laughs> Pop, pop, pop. You see all the flashes and stuff like that. Yeah, but also that can't be, that's definitely not going to be good for you. No. Uh, our bodies seem to be very susceptible to cancer from mm-hmm. a, ver- a variety of things yeah. uh, that will cause it. 
So most and of the space, radiation, I think, would be a good. Uh, most of that energy and that radiation passes through you and doesn't hit anything, mm-hmm. um, thankfully. But uh, on occasion, though, you do have like a cosmic ray that might hit a photoreceptor in your eye, and you see that flash. Mm-hmm. So that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but you are going to have some that hit DNA and rewrite it. And that DNA and goes wild. Not a good thing. <laughs> Um, so, would you go to Mars? That's a tougher question. Yeah. No. You wouldn't? No, because, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I what thought... If you, what if you could take Leia, Jack, and Winter? No, because they would not survive. <laughs> because we would probably not survive. But, uh, at this stage in the game, um, like, maybe we'll see where we're at in 500 years and what resources have been devoted to space settlement and, and whatnot and technology is developed. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll have to kill uh, each other in 500 years. Uh, possibly. Possibly. Uh, but, yeah, I, I you mm. know, I before I think when The Martian came out and I was like, yeah, because it'd be the once in a lifetime epic abuse, cool, blah, blah. But, it, but now I'm like, you know, it's largely going to be like, really uncomfortable uh you know and just like uh, gross and you're gonna have dust all over you probably yeah. constantly well, especially with mark uh, because you know, it's not it's, it's not even dust it still it's takes fines. like it's, it's like it's even finer than dust yeah you can't um, like talk one-on-one with people because it's like there's still like a 20 minute signal delay or some bullshit well here um, you know, like, you know, sk- you know, Skyping, it would be, you know, not immediate, you know, there's a, there's still a delay. Uh, so then it's like, oh, do we get, do we even get Netflix? I can't even, uh, you know, but, and then it's like, you're, you're going to be hungry because you've got to, you know, but we don't even have a way to grow food there yet or figure even out how to grow food because the food has to, we don't even know how to, if the food can grow with the radiation. There's there's a lot of things. Also, also. All right, so you wouldn't want to be in the first group. You would want to be down the line. I mean, to go to Mars. Yeah, if it was, if we were at a point where you could have just like, hey, I'm heading out to, you know, well, even then, the trip is going to be <laughs> at least a couple of years long. Nine months. So, uh, you, you know, I don't know. It just seems like, ah, nah. The, um, Maybe. If, if, we, if we can get teleporters. The, the longest, <laughs> the longest um, path is nine months. I mean, you could do some things that might make it shorter. I mean, yeah, but think of, think of, think of that on a plane. Right, equate our okay, equate the air travel that we've a developed and b have refined since its development. Think of commercial air travel right now, and now expand that type of a flight to nine months because you know damn well that corporations have to get involved with it, and they're gonna make they're gonna penny pinch wherever they can. So can you imagine that Mars journey? Just like what you got the middle seat going to Mars. Yeah, well, thankfully, um, corporations aren't going to be doing this. It, corpor- it'd be NASA. Sure, they're going to work really with because the Falcon but... Nine rocket got OD to the moon, and that's <laughs> SpaceX. So, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, you're going to have NASA that's that's heading it, and like with um, no. But I'm saying once we get to that point, it's going to be yeah. look at look at what's happened mm. now. I mean, you know, we got a fucking Tesla just now. Floating out in space as space debris. So, so dumb. Just like the biggest piece of litter. But think about it. Think about it. That, that <laughs> you do that. It, is the end worth that nine months? Mars is, A, typically, unless it's the summertime along the equator, uh, pretty fucking cold. It doesn't have an atmosphere you can breathe. No. Um, it's got toxic dust. So there's a there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong. But yeah, and I don't want to have to science the shit out of anything. All right, because that's not gonna happen. Well, <laughs> science be wild. Science be wild. <laughs> um, yeah, I uh, I don't know. It's tough, you know. Like NASA were to come to me right now, which they're not gonna do. But if they did, 
I'm like, hey, I, you might go to now, Marshall's? seeing how refined you look. <laughs> you gotta dress the part. Dress for success. Um, you wanna go to Mars? I mean, I would think about it. I mean, yeah, sure, I'd think about it, but then at the end of the day, I'm like, you know, I yeah, occasionally I'm gonna want like a fucking pizza. You know? Yeah, I know, I got you. You know, like a I'm gonna want like a normal bed to sleep in at some point. <laughs> I'm like, oh, can I go to Mars before my sister's wedding? I'm gonna want to. I'm like, just kidding, Ricky. No. If you listen to this, I'm just kidding. Get cancer. I want to go to your. I know, right? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. It's... So I mean, but wow, okay, it would be amazing, yes, to go to Mars to see it in person, to see what an actual fucking non light polluted, completely zero light pollution. The sky I, I, would look like. Okay, but to be fair, you can get that on Earth. You don't have to go to Mars for that. No, but there's still but, light somewhere. There's a sat, you know, like you, oh, you still. You can go like in the middle of the Sahara or something. Yeah, but I'm Death sure Valley. there's still some kind of fucking glow. I'm sure. There you is, know, but, like, but um, like no, like <laughs> ancient times, no light polluted because there's no humans around. I just think. Uh, uh, and and then and to hear also to also. Hear absolutely nothing. The quiet, uh -huh. the absolute quiet, no birds, no frogs, just the sound of your own yeah, but thoughts you know, and that, your heart beating. That can, be, that can be very disconcerting. Yeah, I want to see what it feels like, what it's like. That would so be a draw. Would just be, be like, you would be what does other it. emptiness and solitude feel like? <laughs> You know, I, I would have to seriously, I would seriously consider it. The problem is, though, is I don't want to leave you. And, I mean, you laugh, but it's true. Um, you know, you mentioned, you know, Skype. There is no one-way conversation. Mars Skype. Um, it is, hey, um, I'm walking on Mars today. Yeah, it's just, day? it's not a... Uh, um, you yeah. know, there's no conversation. I... It's a one, it's a one way trip. That's nine months. You hang out for a few yeah, months. Yeah, if I want to be miserable for nine months, just right. get pregnant. <laughs> okay. Um. So nine months to get there. You have to hang out for a certain amount of time for the planets to realign for you to launch again. It's not like. Uh, Apollo, where you're hanging out. Well, for, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, like it's a long days. trip. Like it's not just a yeah. weekend. And then, not going on a weekend or to Mars. And then, so you're there for a few months, and then a couple months, and then you you head on back. Well, I'm not hitting you. I know, but it's very slamming here. Um, slamming your arm. So it's nine months to go back. So you're talking two years. Yeah, I know. That's why I said earlier. I was like, it's like a two year trip. Yeah. You know, it's not a weekender, but like to see Olympus Mons in person and get and actually and, and then and Mariner Valley and to like take in like the scale of them with your own eyes because you can look at pictures and you can have people put comparative pictures next to them and be like, this is how big it is compared to the Grand Canyon. But it means nothing because you don't actually have that scale of, fr of in person frame of reference of what it actually right. would look like. So to see so those in person. Would be like, wow. You know, the thing with Mariner Valley, though. Okay, all right, hold on. No, Olympus Mars. All right, Mariner Valley is more dramatic because you can stand at the edge and, and know you can that see it wasn't the canyon. formed by water. Yeah, I know exactly. It's basically the rip of a planet. But you, uh, you can stand at the edge and you see the canyon, and it's super cool. Mm -hmm. Olympus Mons is so large, it's so big that mm -hmm. you. Don't ever see the top of it until you get close to the top of it. The top is always beyond the horizon mm -hmm. because Mars is so much smaller. The horizon is so much closer to you, but you never really get to see it. And so then when you are on top of Olympus Mons, you don't really get to see the rest of Mars. Um, mm, because it's not a dramatic height. It's yeah, a slope. It, it's, a, it's a very gentle slope yeah. to the top of Olympus Mons. Well, you know, then I'll be disappointed by Olympus Mons. Yeah, so Olympus Mons is the largest mountain in the entire solar system. It is, it is a shield volcano. 
Um, so it basically is a cone. Just like ones we have on Earth. Same yeah, thing. just like we have on Earth. Um, it could cover the entire state of Arizona, and it was stretched, was it something like 20 miles in the sky, is like two and a half yeah, times like, taller than Mount Everest, something like that. It like even breaks Mars's like little thin Yeah, it, it actually it goes into space. pops through the atmosphere of Mars. So the question is, is this a hill you want to die on? <laughs> I, um, I mean, I'm tempted. <laughs> I'm tempted. Um... Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's very tempting. All right, if I can go when I'm, like, like 85 and everybody else is dead, and I'm just, like, like hey, Yeah, like you, everybody. Well, Katie might be still around, though, actually. Katie shouldn't be still around. <laughs> Remember, she's not even an arc tourist. Yeah, that's right, she's whatever. not even... She yeah, hasn't, had, an she hasn't had the light of arc tourist hit her eyes yet. <laughs> But Katie, Katie will have her own life to deal with, you know. She'll have her own aches and pains. So, you know, maybe then I'd be like, all right, I, I mean, well, I'm it, going to Mars. And we'll 80, go die on this At 80, 85, Katie might be Dust like, yeah, on the planet. you need to go to Mars. I, <laughs> I just spent 80 years with you. He's going to be taking care of me when I'm 85. <laughs> uh, then I'll be, I'll be yeah. no more burden so, for her. I'll be like, like, let me not be a burden for you anymore. I'm popping <laughs> off to the Kate, red planet. Katie's like, I've had you for seven, nine years. It's time for somebody else to have you. Uh, I remember the early days with you. If I hear one more fucking pun or <laughs> ridiculous dad joke, I will shoot you to Mars myself. <laughs> yeah, like a big cannon. You know, like the old, like, you know, yeah. early, early days of film. Yeah, that'd be like ridiculous. <laughs> that would kill somebody instantly if they were shot out of it. Uh, which yeah. is which I is mean, a hell, very which hell, is a very throwback if I'm, though. If I'm elderly and all, this is pretty much on my way out, senile, whatever. I, I'll, I'll go to the moon. Fuck it. I'll just go to the moon and hang out there too. You know. Yeah, just get away from Earth. Yeah, but still see it. You know, night, get a nice view of it. You know, and just still enjoy it. I'm like, ah, oh, hey, hey, you look pretty from I, up here. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm uh, assuming by the time I am in my elderly eras, uh, that it, the Earth isn't going to turn into looking like fucking um, like this Coruscant brown or some brown, shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, though it, it might, but I, you know, before it becomes like Coruscant, do we have to take a drink? No. Uh, we're before Coruscant, though, it's just going to be this brown haze, smog haze over Earth. Um, you know, it's oh. Uh, why can't we love the earth? Why can't we love the earth as much as we love money? Which, ironically, is that the things that we need to make money. Yeah, and, you know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> the, the, I'm, the, I'm the first to sit here and say, I, I do like money because it allows me to get, like, an Xbox or games to go on it. Yeah, but or, if, if but, somebody could get their ass out of their heads... Their heads out of their asses and make a fucking replicator already. Oh, I know, right? I mean, come on. What come on, all you MIT Caltech smart people. What are you doing with your lives? Yeah. Let's get some, let's get some technology that's going to... Yeah, we're calling you out, MIT. You know, all right? Yeah, MIT. Fucking MIT. <laughs> you smart bastards. Yeah. Get the replicators um, going. Teleporters? I don't know. I Yeah. Yeah. Massachusetts Institute of Technology, whatever your team name is. They, yeah. What what sports teams do they oh, have? Oh shit, I got Do they have now. a sports team? Does it do does it play football? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bunch of <laughs> <laughs> right. MIT. The MIT the mm -hmm. MIT What is it? Texas oh, mascot. Instruments. <laughs> that would be great it's like a The MIT uh uh oh oh what are those what are those called when you do with the circles? Uh, <laughs> it is Tim, the the Beaver, the MIT Beavers. Oh no, it's Tim the Beaver. The MIT, but no, that their mascot's name is Tim. But what's their mascot? The Beaver. The Beaver. Tim the Beaver. Yeah, so it's Beavers. Is yeah, and it's Tim like Tim is there. It's like Oregon, the University of Oregon Beavers, right? They're the Beavers, right? 
Or, Oregon State University is the Beavers. The what? The University of Oregon is the Ducks. I'm not sure. Whatever. I don't know. What are the, I don't know. <laughs> we follow sports in this We're, house. We live near the Ducks one. Oh, okay. No, no, that's Oregon. But but Oregon State though is not far from Oregon. No, it's, it's like, just like an hour minutes. away. You think like they're all like friends or and everything? An hour and a half away. Oh, it's like an hour and a half. A little further. Yeah, thought. it's in Corvallis. Oh, no, that's like oh whatever, whatever. The only sports that like that we watch has been rugby lately, and Liz actually got into it the other day when when we were watching it yesterday. I mean, it's fun. It's violent. It's so violent. I mean, I prefer the violence. The more violent the sport, then the better, in my opinion. There's Otherwise, just, what's the point to there's it? There's just, like, blood everywhere, yeah. but fewer yeah. concussions in rugby than in America. Yeah, because they're smart. They're like, hey, guys, our heads aren't protected. Let's not use them. And they agree on that premise. I pulled it down, uh, As, well, you are one at this point. Uh, and they agree on that premise as uh, a human, as nice human beings that can agree to be like, yeah, let's not give each other head injuries. Meanwhile, in America, our, we got helmets, we're fine. Let's headbutt each other all yeah. day long. So there's this big tournament going on. There's a reason on. why the Renaissance didn't happen here, folks. Yeah, I know, right? There's a there's a big <laughs> we tournament. We also the country, but anyway. There's a big rugby tournament going on called the Six Nations, and it has mm, Ireland, Wales, England, Scotland, France, and Italy. And only six. Only six. And um, n- does not none of the other European countries they care to play? I, I you know, like, they just might not have been invited. Um, and so... The, so the big powers were like, yeah. we will play together. The big allied but, powers. Okay. <laughs> First of all, Federico, congratulations, Italy will not get a wooden spoon. Um, Maybe he doesn't know yet. Oh, I'm sure Maybe he, he watches... Do you know if he watches rugby? Um, Does he care? He, he watches more, like, the real soccer football. Um, he likes the football. But, but he does... He's uh, more of a footman. He kind of... Yeah. He kind of follows it a little bit, but, um, so, um, Italy's not getting a wooden spoon, but sorry, Federico, Italy is not a powerhouse. Uh, Neither is Wales. For those of you that are wondering, what's a wooden spoon? Because, I mean, I'd take a free wooden spoon, right? Wooden spoons, you can't go wrong with them. They're good for baking. It's a really big spoon. Uh, But the wooden spoon is when you've never, if when you don't win any games at all. Right. So, in this this tournament. In this tournament, um, any... Um, any of the countries will play all of the other five countries. And if you lose all five games, then you get a wooden spoon, <laughs> which is fun. But anyway. But um, why, though? You know. Like, what, is the, what is the symbolism behind this wooden spoon? I, I don't know the symbolism behind it, but to me, it is just, it's a participation trophy. And it's a bit of a dig, a little bit, but... Um, so, Italy today tied France. They didn't lose to them, so technically they don't get a wooden spoon. But um, That's right. Uh, nations that accept a tie <laughs> as, all right, time's yeah. up, and you guys, no one no one scored a, that you guys tied. Game's over. It's fine. Yeah. We don't need to play any longer. Meanwhile, but, they're like, no, we will play until someone dies or wins. But the, you know, they, oh, the, it, it's such, it's so violent, but it's such a gentleman's game. It really is. I mean, uh, all right, like, go lie down. Go, it's go lie chivalrous. Down. It's but, a chivalrous game. Like, game. they had this sound bite of, so the refs now have, they're mic'd up because mm-hmm. of technology. Mm-hmm. And it, it was just so polite, mm-hmm. the ref talking to the guy. He's like, options, please. <laughs> or whatever. What what option are you going to select, please? It, mm-hmm. is, it was very, um, you yes. know. Polite yeah. and gentlemanly, yeah. and there really is in rugby a tradition where you just the referee, the the umpire, whatever you want to call them, they, referee umpires for baseball. Yeah, they um, they're almost revered in in rugby. Is there really? there's a there is a big respect to the referees wow. and um, unlike. Every other sport, or at least right. American sport. And so, well, like with rugby, you don't see people Get into uh, getting face. into rest face. You don't see the ref that. doesn't have to toss him out. 
they will toss people out. They'll get a red. They'll give red cards to people. Oh. But like in in the uh, in the uh, rugby world cup, which happened last year, last was it? Yeah. Time. Is yeah, because just, you uh, got you watched it. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, 2023. So rugby world cup last year, um, one of the, the New Zealand captain, what he tackled a guy, um, and it was head to head con, it was he <laughs> head, head. head to head combat. Yeah. <laughs> Contact. Contact. <laughs> um, so he hit his head. And he got a yellow card. Well, in the middle of it, you can upgrade it. So they start looking at, okay, do you have these people in the in the control room that are watching it. They do the it. slow motion. They do anyway. the slow motion, and then they ask the question: Could he have avoided it? If the answer is yes, it gets upgraded to a red card. Oh. And at that point, you're out of the game. <laughs> but I mean, oh, Jack, Jack. seriously? Uh, I'm trying to play with Leia. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so. But at no point did the captain of the All Blacks, the New Zealand team, you know, blame the referee. Uh-huh. He was very, this was my fault. He did, and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, the referee is just put on a paddle song. Well, that's nice. Yeah, where unlike here, you you can have um, them, you can have players get in the referee's face. There's no astronomy connection to this. How would sports be affected on Mars? What sports would be best suited for Mars? Oh, because, well, you basketball, know, you could shoot Because if anybody's going to actually, like, you know that people, people are going to need to play games, you know? I mean, you get the streaming and stuff. I'm sure there will be, like, you know, a Google satellite hanging out at Mars, streaming in all the shit. But, well, you know, you'll have the... It, it basically comes down to anything that's gravity-oriented. So, if you... Unless they they need to they need to build a, like a, a, a stadium as part of the habitat that's like all well uh, yeah but you're you're not going to increase the the gravity you know and so like if you're playing basketball you're you're kind of limited in how far away from the basket you can shoot mm. depending on how strong you are because gravity you're going to propel the ball up. Gravity is going to pull it down. We'd have to make that. There would be new Martian sports games made. Right. And, but Mars, also Mars balls. Mars balls. And so you can shoot from further because it's going to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can. Before it, it's going to go further before it comes down. Oh, then a frisbee. But could be also. Crazy. Oh, well, you know, frisbee's going to be a little bit weird because you don't have a thick atmosphere. You got to stick that, stick that shit up. Um, you gotta thick that you shit up. That shit you up. got this is this is this is every every white boy that likes a big lady or that's uh, wants wants a big lady. Hey, you gotta thick that shit up. <laughs> right. Um, and so, but also you're gonna have to raise the goals for uh, for like soccer for basketball you could go up higher. because you can jump higher. Um, Mars, the only place where a white man can jump. Yeah, but. It, we're going to continue with this way of thinking. No. Um, I'm making dumb jokes. Right. No, no, I got you. But, um, yeah, so you got you to gotta raise it. You have to raise it. What could be it. a new Martian sport? Oh, I don't know. Because I'm not good at inventing sports. <laughs> not um, no, you've never tried to invent a sport? No. It's not on your list of, I mean, of, of on your resume? I probably, I probably did Things you're good at? I probably did as a sports. kid because, <laughs> like, as a kid, don't we all like play some game and then change the rules halfway through it? Oh, it's yeah, it's like inventing yeah, a sport. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> change the rules so that it benefits you. Yeah, that's how my family plays Uno. We don't play like by traditional Uno r- rules. We kind of have our own. Oh, but wait a minute, no. They're for no, the most part traditional. There's no. Uh, we we play draw that's... four. We play draw fours whenever. <laughs> no, but. But it's still a draw four. No, but typically you can't play a draw four if you have the color. Oh, oh, play. got you, got you, got you. If you can play a card, you technically aren't supposed to be able to play a draw four. But we don't play that way. <sighs> oh, it's a wild man. west. We're gotta, wild west. I got to tell you, Uno in the Davison household is cutthroat because somebody will play a card and everybody else is just watching and just waiting. And in their heads, they have a countdown. I don't know. And the magic number is like probably two. And if it gets to do, they're like, you didn't say Uno, draw a card. 
And it's usually Liz's mom who has Look, to you draw gotta be on top card. of it. You gotta pay attention. If you got Uno, you gotta claim that shit real quick. <laughs> Otherwise, you know. They, they, they give Liz's mom a moment. <laughs> but they're like, draw a card. You didn't say Uno. And, and, and your mom's like, wait a minute. That's not fair. Man, go lie down. Go lie down. Go lie down. Go lie down. Seriously. We're doing a thing. We're in a show. You're in charge, by the way. Oh. I guess I am in, ch- in charge. <laughs> oh, my God. Leia, did you hear that? Did everybody hear that? Leia is gagging. She stretched and then she she gagged. She's a classy lady. That's why she's not Princess Leia Organa. She's General Leia Organa. It is funny, she, yeah. just, she can just make but, whatever sound she wants out of her mouth. But that's the only... <laughs> We do wait a heartbeat, Mom. We wait a heartbeat. <laughs> we wait. We go up. And then we go, yeah, all right. <laughs> there is a count. There's a, I think there's an internal count. But but it really is interesting to watch the, like, the eyes look at your mom like sharks. They are like sharks smelling blood and water. And I'll be honest, you know, I've kind of taken up mail of that. I... Um, I've embraced that mentality. <laughs> the competitiveness of <laughs> Davis in the game night. It really is. Uh, it it really is competitive. It's just funny to see how mad Adam gets when he <laughs> when he's not doing well in a in a game, whether it be Yahtzee or Uno. You know, Adam for gets real mad. I um, I guess I just never pictured Adam being as like super competitive. I but know. He gets he off very super chill. competitive. He gets off very chill, low key, like you know. Meanwhile, vibes. Meanwhile, there's me, who used to be like all about sports and stuff like that, and very competitive. We just did a whole thing talking about rugby, so I don't think no, you can no. say used to be into sports. No, no. Okay, but what I mean is like um, being like competitive. And I really did think that, like, uh, when you're on the field, you're competitive. When you're off, it's like we're all good we're all friends. Humans. We're all good friends, and you know, which is a very rugby way of of looking at the world. Before mm-hmm. I was you're British at heart. Is I, what it is, I, I guess. I, I might be. I'm. I'm gonna say Irish. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say I'm a Kiwi, uh, <laughs> New Zealand. But anyway. Wearing the hat. I'm not. I'm not as competitive. I just want to unload cards in Uno. <laughs> but oh god, Adam. Oh, he's very competitive, which I never would have thought, and um, he doesn't take it very well. But <laughs> I mean, okay, is 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 a very. He takes it well, so don't get that. But. Um, you know he doesn't like it. No, he doesn't, he doesn't like, like it. But then again, I don't like it either. Hi, sweet boy. We got a little Captain Jack Sparrow that came out uh, below us here to say hi. You want to come up here? Do Wanna, do, well, I'm about to end the show anyway, so I figure, you know, we could get a little cameo from Captain Jack. Jackie, you can come up. Jackie, come on. Jackie, come on. Oh, here he is. Here he is, Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> seriously seriously oh, and, and, and like oh comes over here but out gosh. of shot out oh of my shot. gosh okay well on that note i mean we've we went uh we did a lot that i wasn't expecting to talk about uh on this episode from uh you know if we would go to mars which apparently it's i'm no and you're uh well maybe yeah. we'll see <laughs> We'll see. I would do it. <laughs> okay. I always thought that you would go. I mean, I used to think that way, but now I'm like, ah, you know, it's not that it wouldn't be that great physically feeling, and you know, like it's not gonna be a fun. It's not gonna be a fun time, in my opinion. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, through some rugby, through how competitive the Davidson family is at Uno, so. Very competitive. Watch it if you play with us. Uh, so I think we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and, and call it now uh, The Hangover. 
in Cosmos with Cosmos. Remember, science be wild. Science be wild. Of course, you can check out all of our episodes on uh, YouTube, Cosmos with Cosmos, and where you get your podcasts, uh, like Spotify and Apple, Cosmos with Cosmos. We have every other Wednesday the, uh, the I'm trying to move the mic so you can see Jack better, uh, the shot. With Cosmos with Cosmos, just, uh, you know, shots of astronomy science. Just short little bits of fun astronomy stories and science uh, that you can check out. Uh, and, of course, follow us on all the things at Drinking Cosmos on Twitter and Cosmos of Cosmos everywhere else. We will uh, we'll be back in a couple weeks. We'll see you next time with a topic to be determined. Yeah, we'll find yep, out. No but idea. for now. Probably somebody. Bye, Cheers. everyone. Bye.